This is boring wood. Of course it is. No. I don't know. I don't know no, we anything. Wish it on anyone. I don't know anything about boring wood. Don't worry about it. I just would don't be my know. advice. I used to work here. Did you? Yeah, I worked here for a little bit. Uh, what did you do? Selling uh, tea towels? Yeah, the tea towel holders. Well, yeah. Welcome, welcome to my nine nine two. Nine nine borrowed nine nine two. Um, Go on, then you've had it. I've had this for over a week now. Um, so you've lived it for a bit. I've lived it and I've done all sorts in it. I've used it an awful lot just as my car for doing really boring things. Yeah. I've been out for a bit of a helmsman's drive and it's really trying to see uh, what it's capable of in the upper reaches of the envelope. Ah! Uh, no, I went out for a little drive and it just for the sake of it and I, and I did a bit of um, a bit on the motorway and stuff and um, I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's fucking great. Is it? This is really good. This is a really good car. Because, and I know some people are worried, it's got turbos. It's got the engine out of the later last shape ones. Three litre, yeah. twin turbo, yeah. classic. So right down in displacement. Yeah. But yeah. there's one of the things about it. It's, it's turbo-y because it's torquey low down. Look, it's got an eight speed. It's eight speed PDK. That's all you can get at the moment. No manual yet. Yeah. That's a funny little nubbin. Little like Bosch Razor. I mean, yeah, it does look like take a, your a, a bra- off, bum fluff, debum fluff. Um, we're in eighth there. We're doing under a thousand revs there at a cruise Gosh. because, uh, well, because the cars, uh, the cars in control at that point. I'm going to see so going to manually push that button there, and it, and that obviously holds it. Cause yeah, it's that's it. And now I'm on the paddles. Right. Okay. Um, and you can plink it around. We've got the, like... they're metal, the metal, and they and you know because. You know, the other week we were in my 997 and I've got paddles in that and they're metal as well. Yeah. They're bigger and they've got longer travel. These are now quite clicky. Oh, uh, okay. Not, like not switch clicky, but yeah, they're good. They're just, they're just right. They're so good you don't notice them. You just, you just, they're good enough that you, they're never where you sort of, you know, some cars, they're, the, the paddles just aren't quite right somehow. Yeah. It's, it's sort of irritating. They're too long travel or something. And these are just fine. Good. Perfect, really. I'm just That's sorry, a lot of this while car. you were talking to me, I'm just kind of looking round it, drinking it in, really. Drink it in. Light coloured interior sort of works, don't you think? Yeah. Well, light coloured interior, but then, exterior, guards red, the classic, the classic 911 guards, colour from the 80s. Red, yeah. Good. With the gold wheels. Yeah. Now, normally this would not be to my taste, and I absolutely yeah. fapping love I, when you sent me a wheels. picture of it with the gold rims, I was a little suspicious. Go on the configurator if you feel so inclined and try configuring the gold rims on a black one. Oh. Hoo hoo! Does the, if you did a blue one like that, with, would, uh, it, would you be channeling your inner Subaru World Rally? I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. <gasps> I don't know if they do a bright blue. Maybe you could special order it. Could you make me a, a, a 911 that looks like a. The ghost of classic the, the ghost of McRae. I'm just posting a picture of Colin McRae to inspire you to do that. I don't think it's not a strident gold. I think that's why I quite like it. It's quite a soft gold. It is quite a soft gold. But it works. I don't mind gold in the right instance. The only issue with those gold wheels is um, that uh, they are uh, over 800 quid. I think something like 842 quid as an option. Are they? Yeah. What? And they're just this style of alloy, or they're? Uh, I think you can have any wheel. There's a few optional. These are the standard wheels. Okay. And I think they're quite nice. Yeah, I like the, I like the design. A few things about the 992 that's changed over the 991. It's pretty, I think it's a new car, essentially. Mostly yeah. aluminium now. Yeah. Um, although it's not lighter than the old one. It's bigger. It's, got, it's bigger. It's got, I think it's like it's got a particulate filter on it, which petrol cars are going to start having now. Right, okay. Although, ah, accelerating. And it's really fast. This is as quick as you need, isn't it? It's just a quick car. Yeah, that's Rapido. That is Rapido. And what I like about it, it's a turbo engine. It's really grunty low down. I was going to say, it doesn't sound turbo y. No, it gets on it. We've got the exhaust in noisy here, but okay. it gets on it. It gets a bit growly or a bit, a bit roary at higher revs. But also, you know, a lot of these modern turbo engines, they're sort of a bit one note in as much as there's loads of torque, there's loads of, there's not so much fun in revving it. This, it revs. It, it feels like it wants to rev, and when it gets about 4,000 revs, it feels like it's sort of slightly, it's like it comes on cam. 
there's just a little bit where it just gets a bit busier and a bit, oh, you get a little bit of sense that it's suddenly really picking up. And that's lovely. It's less buttony. It's much it's, less buttony. It looks like these should sort of somehow light up and there'd be yeah. things there, but there's not. There's nothing. It's not, is it? So no. can you choose I don't think so. Over piano black or whatever, you know, black gloss plastic. Oh, I don't. I bet you can, because you know, Porsche will have to Surely charge you, you for extra stuff, don't yeah. they? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not completely wowed with this stuff, doesn't, but it's all right. That doesn't feel isn't it? special. It should be metal. No, it's you know, okay, isn't it? Yeah. Metal or carbon, because it's a big tray like a parcel shop. I think this might be optional, actually. I don't know why or what you, what you have yeah, there. Yeah, when you, you look did. really closely at it, it's almost the logo for the Isle of Man. <laughs> You know the three, yeah. the three legs. Is it? It's almost that. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The interior. I just think it's 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 good. It feels quite upmarket in most places. Um, it does. It and does feel pretty good. It's roomy. I love this. The only dial that's now analog, as opposed to TFT digital, oh, yeah. is the rev counter. I've only just noticed that. And it's, they've sort of gone a little bit to town on the design as much as you know. It's got that sort of central little shiny yeah. bevel Spindle, thing. And yeah. then it's sort of it's slightly retro. I think it's meant to look like the rev counter in an old 60s I, 911. I think it will. It, and it almost, you're not going to hate this, but it does almost look like a Beetle speedometer, oh, the needle. Oh, man. I was hoping to get through this without you mentioning Beetle. <laughs> no, I, and I mean pre-67, not post. Of course, yeah. Not I knew, post. I knew, I knew that. Um, so you still got the five dial layout. Yeah. But these are... These are sort of floating. Yeah, the screen's odd, isn't it? It looks that like it's is. sort of not fitted properly. But yeah, you don't really see it from where I'm sitting. It's kind of weird. I mean, I don't mind it. Um, the interesting thing about uh, the big screen is that in you know Porsches usually have some kind of design or ergonomic bonkersness where you just go. Did you think this through, lads? Then no yeah. one, no one raised their hand and went. Oh, I don't think this entirely works. And these, the the, the fake. You know the virtual dials at the extremities here. Yeah. Um, you can't see them. The steering wheel is in the way. Seriously. Yeah, and it's fine. I mean, one of them is the fuel gauge, which I do think is quite important. But then you can call up a fuel gauge in this changeable display here, right, which okay. you can see. So you know, it's sort of it's okay. But you just yeah. sort of go the fuel gauge, really, because if you want, I don't know, your nav in there or something else. Yeah. Then you, um, so you can then manipulate. You, can't. you can yeah. manipulate all those and move them around. You can. You've got date and temperature. And yeah, I can't see those. There's a okay. clock there, but it's fine because there's loads That's of clocks. That's speedo. You see the speedo? No, speedo in the rev counter as well. Like, of course, Disney. Yeah, because they've had, which is cool. It's just like on my old 997. And then here, this is all touch screen. Oh, where are we going here? Sitting under this little like, leather stitched oh. shelf top. Yeah. Yeah. And this is fine. So, yeah, there'll be no buttons, no need for buttons no, down here because. And this is floating as well, look. So that thing with the floaty floaty here, this, yeah. this little nubbin sits in a floating plinth within this recess. Floating plinth floating. within I know. the recess. It's floating. But call me Mr. Practical, that's rather boring, but. Can I call you Mr. Vane instead? Okay. Uh, that looks like it'll just get loads of crumbs under it. It re I'm actually seeing stuff under yeah. there. So yeah, you they, they should have a Porsche branded little vac that you can just get stuff out. Or a or a Harris paintbrush. Oh yeah, that'd do the job. Just a cheeky little because I know detailers do use paintbrushes. Mm. But again, it is a crumb trap or a slash coin trap. Oh or yeah. Or is it a little place to put your, you know, like your your, your credit card or your <laughs> maybe. I not thought. Or about are that. we just talking utter bobbins Could about be. a design feature which means nothing? It does say nine eleven there though. It does. Have they changed that font? Yes, they have. And yeah. if, you, if you're not careful with the way you spec the badges on the back, you end up with like three different typefaces and it looks really mad yeah, that's, and not attractive. No, that shouldn't be allowed. This one, they've sort of, you can just have 911 or you can just have nothing, it'll just say Porsche. But, um... Because it's a big bump. Yeah. It's a big car. It parked next to your 997. It did look significantly wider. I got in my 997 a few days ago with a bit of trepidation. I was like, oh no, I've been driving this so much and I really like it. Will it make my car feel old and crap? Yeah. And actually it didn't, thankfully. It didn't. Well, my car feels quite little, not super little, but it feels smaller. Well, the brake feel is better in my car, although the brakes themselves probably aren't. 
Yeah. This the brakes are the, the low speed coming to a halt. They're a little bit snatchy, and they're not amazing in terms of sort of feeling out of the pedal. Yeah. Other speeds. They're not bad by general standards, but my old school car is better. Same with the steering. You know, mine's got the hydraulic steering. Of course, you feels a bit. Yours nicer, was the last year of hydraulic steering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, last generation. Yeah. What I can't get my head around is, and I, this just might be me having a bit of an old man comment. The 991 didn't feel old. It didn't feel like it had been around that long. No. I, I was really shocked when they were bringing another one out already. I was like, really? Yeah. The 991 still feels quite fresh. Yeah, it's but weird, isn't it? How old is the 991? Because uh, the 991 was the first about of... 20... I, was, I should know this, because I was at the 30, Motor Show. 2012? Was it that long ago? Well, was so it? the facelift of the 997, which I've got, came out in 2008. So, yeah, 2011, 2012, I reckon. Gosh, well, that is a So, time, it though. is a bit old, and it's had one little tickle, hasn't it, when they put the turbo engine that we've now got here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's an interesting sign of the times. There's a new gearbox. that was gearbox, the seven-speed eight speed speed. manual, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I guess they'll do seven-speed manual in this eventually, but at the moment, eight-speed yeah. Peter K is all you can have. Peter K. And, um... Great. It's, which is fine. Can you notice a difference between like your era of Peter K yes. and the 991? This is just, it, it, it's actually, it's in auto mode, it's better, it's just smoother and uh, better set up. So unless you want to smash it through gears, it's... Yeah. There's an awful lot of workman's vans in the Toby car there? I mean like, yeah, like a like gathering. Sky, like Sky Workman having a meeting. Having an AGM. Yeah. <laughs> and why not? Um, yeah, it is, the gearbox is better. Just, just in terms of the, you can tell they kind of refined it out a bit, and it's yeah. It, and also because it's eight speed, it means it can change up in auto mode in town. It just changes up really early, and it can and it's they've smoothed it up so much that yeah. it can just start shuttling up and down the gears. You barely even notice, but it means it's just it drives better. It feels happier at low speeds. So you got a nice you got a nice knee rest. I thought this was floating for a second. I thought there was a gap under no, there. There's, no, there's some more textured the shit going on. Yeah, that. See, I've I've been touring around in a few um, new Peugeots recently. Oh yeah. And the detail and the materials on their their dash is, I would say, better than this. Really? Yeah. Huh. I really would. Tusk. This looks. That's that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's three, good. Those three there. So temperature toggle, fan speed toggle. Oh, and, and your side temperature toggle, and the knurled knob of the volume. Yeah. And the knurled knob of the uh, shuffling your stations or your tracks. They're all metal and they feel cold and nice. Yeah. Those those are knurled, and I think actually they might be metal. Those little piano keys. Yeah. It's a weird match of. Superior yeah. quality and maybe a bit lacklustre there. Yeah, yeah. The road so most of it. This, you know. is a, this is a Carrera S. Yeah, again, that's all you can have at the moment. Yeah. It's a Carrera S for PDK. That's how they launch it. Which is basically what what they're saying is that's the most commonly sold model. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. And it's um, sort of middle ground, isn't it? So you sort of start at the middle and then they'll work downwards and then they'll work. Yeah. Maybe they'll work upwards as well. I don't really know. Yeah. I what guess. Well, have? the first thing they've done is the cabrio. Oh, because the oh, there was a couple of Goodwood. Were there? Yeah, with the really, really flat, confident convertible roof structure. Ah. Uh, you know, the back window is almost horizontal. It's it's so flat. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's certain, gone quite rakish, hasn't it? The 991 was a bit like that. In a certain sunlight, I don't think you'd be able to see anything like the back window. Uh, I mean, it, it, it is almost flat, hmm. but it doesn't have the pram frame, the visible bows. Yeah. Which, which it's suffered from for years. Yars and yars. Yars. Yars, yars, yars. So I've got it in Sport Plus, which is why we're, it's it's properly finding all of the bumps. Yeah, it's not awful, is it? I think it's actually a bit more subtle than mine. If you put mine in hard dampers, it's really... Wet drive mode. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Um, Did you spend a lot of time in 991s? Wow, that is pretty. Yeah, it's just, I mean, there's no real need for more than that. I don't know. What are these diamonds here? Oh, they're just little shortcut buttons to things within the screen. Oh, OK. And then you've got a button here as well you can program to do different stuff. Depends what you want it to do. OK, OK. Uh, one of the things you can do is just make, make the exhaust louder if you want. 
which is nice. But yeah, this this grates. These are like in general. I'm I'm down with this interior. I think it's I think it's good. I'll I'll just talk you through the things that aren't so good about it. And also, can you talk me through what you liked about the 991 inside that you maybe missed? Uh, if there is anything. No, I don't think there's anything in this where you just go, oh, that was better on the old car. Not that I can think of. I mean, I found that the middle of the 991 was a bit buttony I sometimes. Found, I, I found it to be it's too... It's all a bit buttony. I know it's all, a lot of it's gone onto here, but yeah. then they've been really smart. I can't abide it when, and Jack Land Rover are terribly guilty, they're sticking the heated seat sort of inside oh. a sub-menu, and it's go, no. When I get in and my it. arse is cold, I just want to go, start it. car, bink, piss off. And yeah. I don't like, particularly when you're driving. And look, well, heated, you heated rear, heated yeah, front. Yeah, they're there, front, and front front the mark. climate's all pretty That's simple. stuff you just want to just, whack immediately. Yeah. Um, so, top marks to Porsche there. Like, ergonomically, it's good. The only things that are not good, these door handles, Yeah. I trapped my finger in these as I was trying to get out, and then my, oh. when my wife got in it, she did it too. Down there? Yeah, it's just pinchy. It's pinchy. Yeah, it is pinchy. It's pinchy. It needs to sculpt out. It yeah. needs to come out a bit more. Also, it's got this faux key, because it's keyless. Although it's got something else that annoys me about modern cars. It's, it's Keyless entry is optional. Optional? Yeah. So you I'm have not... to still get the key out and clip it to unlock it on this what, car. On a, and what's the starting price of what's the? Price? I'll come to that in a minute because it's a little spicy. Uh, right. But, Is it going to shock me? Yeah. Well, it might do. It depends. It shocked me, but only because I can't get it out of my head that 911 should be about 70 grand. Yeah. But this has keyless. It doesn't have keyless entry, but it does have keyless start. And it's got this faux key thing that pokes out the dash, and you twist that to start it. So I'm going to just go lower. Yeah. Oh, but, so it's a similar theme to this. Yeah, nod, I guess so. Yeah, nod, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I crack my knee on that. It pokes out a little bit too much, and I crack my knee on it. I think the thing is, and it actually quite hurt. Once you've done it once, you probably won't do it again because you'll remember the pain. Well, you'll be swearing. Like. But how? it is still a bit where you just go, really? You just, I don't know. That that feels odd. Really. Um, so yeah, I, that I don't like, and I don't like the pinchy door handles. No, uh, it's it's weird, isn't it? As soon as you said that, I've just put my pinky down there. Yeah. Because it's sort of slide the way it's sculpted, it slides in. Yeah. And absolutely, it's quite a hard spring. Oh yeah, no, it is. It's it's, it's a proper ouch. And yeah. And your wife did it. Yeah. Bloody Which made me feel better that I'd done it because I thought oh, I've just been an idiot. But no, I've now cast that as a design flaw. Um, oh yeah, what have we got down there? But I don't. There's not. Seats, seats are not, I have to say the seats are good. Oh, yeah. Seats are good. They're consistently good though, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. No, well, seats are really good. They're nice, that lovely Stuttgart crest. Uh, uh, that's optional as well. Is it? I wonder how much that so, is. So, basic, this car's about 93. Oh, shut up. I was hoping you would break it to me a little bit softer. Well, no, no, I haven't got to how much this one costs. So, 93 for, and there's, there will be a cheaper one when the Yeah, there will be a Carrera, so I'll prove that. I reckon that'll be though. 80 something, uh, maybe a little bit 85 maybe, I don't right, know. Okay. Be just cheap enough that they might lure some more people in, but by the time you put some options on it, it'll be more than this kind of deal is usually what happens. But we live in a world now where an E63 AMG Mercedes saloon yeah. is what, 75? I think they're a bit more even now. And they they the S ones are like 90 to 100, aren't yeah. they? I think they're sort of, some of those are 100 grand, you kind of go, and you do Ooh. See, I like I mean, it. They're but nice, but are they that nice? But I think that's the thing, you just forget. Inflation has taken its toll. I still can't. I have to remind myself that a Golf GTI isn't twenty-two grand or something. Okay, this will this will um, this will age you. This will uh, the first nine eleven you drove new. Yeah. And you drove with your job. Mm. How much was it? Oh God, I don't know. It was a nine nine six, and it was in nineteen ninety eight. So okay, ninety eight. What would it have been? For 50 grand? I reckon it would have been, if it wasn't 50, like 52. Yeah. Now you've just said 93. Yeah. I'm now, I'm thinking, okay, well, let's just say if it is 85, 88 for a basic one eventually, I'm still scared, but then times have changed. Yes, and things just cost more than you think they do because. How much is a how much is a, a how much is a dairy milk right now? Uh, it's like ninety p or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was going to say they're probably they're probably up. knocking on a quid. I mean that's just dirty. The other thing is you don't know about stuff like how much the dairy milk costs because sort of as a middle-aged adult you kind of if you've got a few 
bits of change in your pocket. You're, just, you're not even worrying about the price of a dairy milk. When you were a kid, you were using your pocket money there. You had yeah. to spend it wisely. So true. So true. Uh, and now, as also as a middle-aged adult, you're sort of getting closer, perhaps, to really expensive things that you can afford that you want, like Porsche 911s. And you're suddenly more aware of how much they cost and realising that they're not completely in reach all the time. And Because the problem is, this... It's got some options on it, nothing mad. Go on then, go on then, go on. Sh- options, talk to me. Well, the gold wheels, obviously, yep. which I think are nice, but they're purely cosmetic. But then it's got, what else has it got that you want? Uh, Just turned the turbo then. Did you? Yeah, when you came off the throttle. Was there a, was there a sort of hush? Yeah, it is, it's exactly that, it's a hush. <laughs> but it's, it's still quite muffled. Yeah. You're, you're getting way more exhaust than you're getting induction. But look at oh. this, it still darts around. It's not It's not a lardy car by any means. No. You can still do that, and yet yeah. it's still impressively every day, and it's just, it feels well made. Yeah, it does. It's, it is just lovely to drive. It's not the sharpest, they'll, but there'll be GT3s, GT2s for that job if you really want that. Well, there'll be, a, there'll be about 10 different versions of that, wouldn't there? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, another change for the 992, sir. Uh, wide body only, even for your Carreras. There will be no narrow body. You know, on the old yeah. one, it's like wide body was for uh, four wheel drive, four-wheel drive yeah. and for then you know the the turbo and the GT cars. That's stuff. right. But even your basic Carrera now goes wide body. What do we think about that? Uh, I, I was like, like, I went, I read about it. Yeah, and I went. Oh, no, that's just stupid. You want you know, another thing of 911s is that the normal ones are quite nice and narrow. Yeah, actually, it's fine. It's not that much wider. I mean, it, it, I know it's less tooling for them because they don't have two body shells yeah. or two rear uh, wing shapes. I but wonder if it's also linked to the fact that the first 911, like normal 911, has different size wheels front to back. 20s on the front, 21s on the back. Has it? Yeah. So I don't know why. So obviously different different J width, yeah, as normal, but different diameter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That, what would that do? To I, don't the, know. I don't know. I just, I mean, I don't typically, know. that would change the rake. If uh, yeah, it's weird. If it doesn't look like a dragster for some reason. No, <laughs> They've thought well, of that. A nine eleven drag looking car would be strange. But uh. My, it, I need yeah, to look it's at, just a thing they've done. I don't know why. I need to look round it externally a bit more because it's still very new to me. The bit I didn't like was that the back number plate is too low. Low. Too low. It felt like it's too low, and then there's a sort of blank bit of space. There's a whole back bumper bit that's just unadorned. Yeah. Uh, which has bothered me less and less. If you order these, there's some sports body kit or something you can have on it. Yeah. Um, and they, that moves the plate up to the sort of place where you think it ought to be. Okay. And I was looking at it going, well, that's a simple thing then, isn't it? If I, if I ordered one of these, I would order it with a sports body kit and problem solved. Because actually, it's quite subtle. It's just a different back bumper. Yeah. And a, and a different skirt. front with a... It's no, I think little... it's have to skirt separately. But it's got then a little, a little lip. But it says in the online configurator warning, ordering this will significantly reduce front ground clearance. Significantly reduced. Yeah, and you okay. just go, well, that's no good, is it? Because that's, again, you're taking away some 911 ness would, well, would you buy a Guards Red one? I would, having seen this spec, I would seriously think about it before I went and ordered the boring black one. Yeah, probably. But okay. Yeah, I, I don't any... know. I do like. I, I mean, black is good. I Thanks. just really, I have, I really want the looks. I think that's the thing. Do you ever find though, when you when you really like a car, the way a car drives, that if you were if you weren't certain about the looks, that it's like falling in love with a person. Once you are hooked on their personality, you find their looks much more alluring as well. Totally. Uh, and this is one of those where I thought it was okay, and I, it's better in the flesh than the pictures and in this yeah. spec. Yeah. But now I've driven it a lot, and I think it's brilliant. Uh, I also think it looks great. And I probably wouldn't have the sport arse on it because I don't want to compromise front ground clearance. No. Um, so, anyway, that's that. Uh, that's that ordering dilemma that I won't have out of the way because <laughs> I don't have a hundred grand knocking around 
yeah. just to knob on a Porsche. Yeah. Although, I, if I did, by God, I would. This is just this know? is yeah. This is my but, ideal but everyday you, car. It really would, is. But would you not just look at a late nine nine one that's eighteen months old? Uh, that's yes. a really, really, really good car. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Oh yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. Now you've said that. I mean, I don't want to be a. I don't no, I'd go, go, I'd, you're right. I'd go and get. A, I don't a, want to go a, get down on it. But I'd go and get a nine nine one Carrera T. Oh yeah. With a Manuel box. Probably. Oh my gosh! Stop it! And what could you get one of those for now? Do you reckon? They are eighty-ish. They probably kick off at. Okay. Oh, okay. Going. Well, can I put my hand up and say that's what I would do? Uh, but if you wanted a box fresh car, yes, if you wanted brand, brand and people brand do, new. and mm-hmm. it doesn't seem an unreasonable thing to want, I know. Uh, I would have one of these because I think it's ace. Ah, <laughs> my... <laughs> Richard, calm down. Look at this, you push this button in the middle and it gives you sport response. Okay. I mean, that's about as fast as you really sort of you know, need, that isn't was, it? That was flipping quick. Yeah, it was, was wasn't quick. it? It was quite, we just go, it's good. Yeah, it's that, good. That it's was good. really good.